Thank you for joining us. I'm Joe Bruno. We have a lot to get to tonight and we'll start with our climbing COVID-19 cases. North Carolina is reporting 3,268 new cases today, a significant spike from yesterday and the first time daily cases topped 3,000 since late February. Despite our climbing numbers, no new mask mandate was put in place today. Instead, Governor Roy Cooper recommended masks for people who are vaccinated in areas of high and substantial community spread. The governor also updated his guidance for masks in schools, recommending all students and staff wear masks regardless of their vaccination status. This updated guidance comes less than 24 hours before Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools makes its decision. Other than the media and people with CMS ties, no one paid a visit to the government center Thursday night for a specially called meeting. Friday morning, things will be different as these leaders decide whether masks will be needed inside the classroom. The superintendent has done a quick turnaround. The superintendent sent this memo to board members saying he will recommend masks be worn by all teachers, students, staff and volunteers, regardless of vaccination status. That's what the health director, Gibby Harris, is in favor of. Same with Governor Roy Cooper. I mean, look at where the numbers are. Look at where the numbers are in your county and think about the danger that students could face. Despite that plea, some school districts are still opting for mask optional policies. The latest two, Burke County and Kannapolis City Schools. The CMS board is likely to follow the advice of the superintendent and local health leaders. There will be no public comment before the vote, but Chair Elise Dashu says the board has been flooded with calls and emails all week. So a lot of doctors are weighing in and they're concerned about the Delta variant and um, they're urging us to take it seriously and, and to exercise caution. Dashu says the board's number one priority is keeping kids in the classroom with in-person learning all year. We've got to do everything we can to avoid um, um, you know, sending kids home if they've been exposed and if everyone's wearing masks, then we don't have to do that as much. Despite the CDC guidance, Governor Roy Cooper is not issuing a mask mandate for the general public. A spokesperson for Mecklenburg County did not respond to my question asking if one will be considered locally. The governor did announce a new executive order directing state government cabinet agencies to verify whether their employees are vaccinated. Anyone in those agencies that is not vaccinated will be required to wear a mask and be tested for COVID once a week. He called on other state agencies and private businesses to do the same. 